it was said that hydrogen is the fuel of the future. We strongly believe that hydrogen, 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 hydrogen will be the fuel of the future that bridges the gap between renewable energy sources and transportation, but produces no pollution whatsoever, and it can be made renewably without any carbon dioxide production. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, and a fuel more prominent than any element in the universe, with drinkable water as an exhaust. Ah, uh, again. Fantasy? No. It's a hydrogen car. From cars. To super Look at this, cars. Guys. How epic is this? So this is all water vapor because this car right here runs purely on hydrogen. Now this is called the Hyperion XP1. The truck. And this is my truck. It may only be just one truck, but it's a truck that's a fuel cell electric. It's a truck that runs on hydrogen. It's a truck that produces zero diesel hydrocarbons. And it's a truck that produces zero emissions. Yeah, this is one awesome truck. Thanks to Toyota and his partners like Kenworth. Soon there will be many of these trucks reducing emissions in the air we all breathe. And now, they are testing hydrogen too. Fuel jet engine. Then, we redefined what was possible with groundbreaking technologies that took propulsion and fuel efficiency to the next level in the GNX. And now, we're doing it again. According to the director of the aerospace technology at Rolls-Royce, the reason we're looking at hydrogen is really the drive for net zero. In the long term, the plan is for hydrogen power to play a major role in allowing the aviation industry to continue growing, while cutting climate change emissions drastically. The immediate aim is a simple one, to show that it is possible to run and control a jet engine using hydrogen fuel, rather than conventional aviation fuel. Normally we run this thing on kerosene. Kerosene is a hydrocarbon therefore produces carbon dioxide when it burns. The beauty of looking at a fuel like hydrogen is that it doesn't contain any carbon. Therefore when it burns it produces no carbon dioxide. We looked at battery technology, and it's quite clear that the battery technology was probably not going to do it for the large commercial aircraft that we fly. The advantage of hydrogen over batteries is that it provides much more power per kilogram. Batteries are simply too heavy to power large planes. <laughs>